Alright, what's up everybody? Um, I'm Rinzo, and I'm going to be streaming some stuff on on um, FL Studios today. So hopefully you can hear me well. I've got my mask on, so hopefully it's not too muted, but I think the audio from the desktop is working, which is the most important thing. And so yeah, um, I just started using FL Studios last week actually, so I'm kind of new to it. So today I'm just going to kind of be messing around with sounds, um, showing you kind of a few of the different options they have, how to edit them and things like that. Um, the This is a free version for right now until I get the full version installed on this computer. I don't think it's going to limit us on any of the anything basically but there might be a time when I come into uh, a issue because I did not pay for this for right now so hopefully that's not too bad but yeah um oh thank you that does still say that let me update the title of the stream real quick Hopefully, hopefully that still works because this is not a uh, local pair. Cool. All right, so let's get started. Um, the first thing I did was I went into the MIDI settings and turned on um, this MIDI keyboard that I have right here. Can't really, can't really see it, but I've got it down here. Um, and I hopefully soon will have kind of a camera on the top so you can look down and see what I'm actually doing with the keys. Um, but for right now, unfortunately, you'll just have to look at my face. So cool. Yeah. So right up here on our left is a lot of the different types of songs they have or not songs, um, sounds. So usually when you pull it up, it has these four kind of 808, um, type sounds on here. They're just basically kicks and drums that you can use. Um, I'm not a drummer. That's not really my thing. I play keys mostly. Uh, but they, you do, can get some really cool sounds out of this. Um, you can definitely like mess with some of the settings. You can, you know, this is the offset, so the playback. Um, you could reverse it, which sounds cool. Um, you could fade it away and you can kind of adjust the in and out of the sound sample. Um, so yeah, so yeah, that's pretty cool. I, what I like to do, I really like the, I kind of want to explore all of these. They have um, more of the plugins. So I'm just going to start with kind of like maybe the synths um, on the top there. We have, ah, thank you, yes, the 808. Uh, the 808 is a classic drum machine. Um, oh, let me see the desktop audio. Can y'all hear that? It says that there is desktop audio. Okay, cool, awesome. Maybe I just didn't have turn turn it up. Uh, I'll turn it up a little bit more. So yeah. yeah. Hopefully that works well. I don't want to drown my voice out, or don't want to drown this out with my voice. So cool. All right. So yeah. So this is the first. Um, the first. Uh, I right click this and just go to. You give it a replace replace any of it but this is kind of the first synth classic synth they have um this was <laughs> this is kind of cool um i i like i always love the graphics of these things they just have so many different types of um all of them are just different so i feel like this would be really fun if you're ever into code this would be 
pretty cool a pretty cool project to kind of uh, tackle is making one of these i think that'd be a lot of fun so yeah this one sounds a little bit more belly i like it a little mudded but that's okay so yeah okay master level to hold up one second i'm gonna get this on another window cool okay there we go i can see the stream and fl studios at the same time so i really like these organ sounds so that's cool um you could you can mess you know with you can mess with the sounds get some cool stuff but one thing i might try and do in a bit is try and record like just you know cool and see if it'll let me pitch and modulate the sound as i'm playing it um i kind of like that warm thing it can be overused uh and i don't want to make any s small sound or song make to sound weird because of it cool okay so let me i'm gonna try i'm just gonna mess around with the sound right now see, see if i could find something that i like um oop. I think these are the different waveforms for the sounds. So you have like a square wave, um, a regular sine wave, sawtooth wave. I don't know the difference between these two sawtooths. It's probably just uh, a different kind of uh, frequency they're using or something. and moody 
All right, let's keep yeah, let's keep looking through these, find some cool sounds. Um, oops, I don't mean to do that. Um, I kind of just want to get like a repertoire of kind of different noises up here, um, and then we can move move over and start recording stuff, kind of messing with the sound waves. So let me see here. Um, I think yeah. Okay, so <laughs> there are a there are a lot of different instruments, quote unquote, you could have here. So each one of these is different. Uh, the drums and the synthesizers. I'm still in the 3X synthesizers. And each one of these has their own, which is kind of cool. This is a lot of stuff right here. Um, <laughs> so. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know. Sometimes these are fun to just like play around with, not even make anything. Oh. And I, yeah, this has a, a lot of things on it. Um, I will admit, a lot of it I don't know. EMV, um, it's kind of fun to just like sit here and play with these. Yeah, that's that. You could definitely hear the sound difference in that. Um, so, I think this is. Doesn't seem that you can edit specifically in this window, but I think. Okay, cool. This is just like the fade. Pitch here. Um, the cool thing about this MIDI keyboard is I can adjust the pitch from. Um, there's like a left hand kind of wheel, so, so I don't necessarily have to go into here. One other cool thing about Fruity Loops too is you can map um, different MIDI. Uh, you you can map all of these onto keys on a keyboard. So if I were to want to change the blur, um, for example, there's a there's a way to map. The, the keys of the keyboard, you could just hit um, a key and it'll be able to edit it for you. So I, I don't need to look up how to do that again. Um, I can Google it later for y'all if I get to that point. But, but yeah, I don't know. A lot of these, you know, these, there's so many things on here you could do. It's, it's actually kind of cool. Um, each one of these is kind of a very unique uh, sound. You can get a unique sound out of it. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna go to another one just to kind of see. I th I think I'm gonna stick with this like uh not that one. I kind of want to stick with a more moody kind of shoegazy sound this time. Um, just because it's I don't want to say it's easier to like make stuff with it, but it's I don't have to kind of be a good you know do crazy like chords and stuff like that to get cool sounds out and it kind of allows you to mess with the sound itself which I do I really like doing is kind of going beyond um, just playing notes and messing with the actual sound of something itself is always fun so yeah so I want to see what this morphine one is it's a little bit more of a this kind of reminds me of like an old uh, boom box which is cool and hold up one second. I am going. Ooh, a cord got caught in the chair. There we go. Okay, cool. Oh, this one you can. Okay, this is cool. You can edit this one right here. <laughs> okay, 
this is really cool. Yeah, so you could edit the amplitude just right here. Let me see. I'm going to try and do something weird for y'all so you could hear it. Let me clear all this and then go. Oops. Oh, no, no. Let's see if it'll get this. Okay, this is really cool. in this one all right this is cool I don't know if I like that sound that much so I'm going to replace it with oh go ahead let's see what this is oh okay this is this is kind of harsh but you can also edit the sound in here which is cool. it's a little bit more of a drum thing it's not what I'm looking for so let's try this plucked oh there's like nothing here. This is cool. Let's see what it sounds like. Ah, cool. Okay. So it's like a kind of a string instrument. Let's see what this does. Cool. Um, that's cool. I don't, again, not really, I'm not really feeling that, uh, sound. This is more of an orchidy thing. Oh, that sounds fun. I can't really hear what that's changing. Yeah, this 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 kind of atmospheric one is kind of cool. So this would be cool to kind of cut in, start off with something kind of, you know, a little... Uh... Um, I want to figure out how to adjust these real time um, as I'm playing. That would be really fun. Um, I, I don't know if this is like a cymbal roll. This is like... Ooh, that's like a scream, it sounds like. Okay, this one's really, I like this. <laughs> oh. oh, it has like an, you can adjust the noise rate. That's cool. And then let's see if, this sounds really cool. Okay, so it seems like there is a trial version, not just for Fruity Loops, but also for these things as well. Uh, so it might want you to buy each instrument, which is okay. I think, yeah, it's still letting us use it. Um, it probably won't let us use it too much. So I'm going to keep it here. I like this Sakuda. Um, I'm going to go to Flex now, see what, oh, okay. There are all of these into um, this kind of MIDI setting, which is cool about this though, is that, yeah, this seems like to be like some custom one that they have on here. So let's see what this sounds like. Ooh. That sounds fun. If it fits with the other ones that I have, so I'm gonna keep moving for now. That's kind of cool. That 
that's cool too. I like that. Let me see. Hmm. Sorry, that was kind of jarring. Um. This, uh, this kind of sounds like one of those EDM sounds, you know? I don't know. Um, not what we're looking for here. This kind of sounds cool. Let me, let me see what I can mess with this. sound that right there but I don't want it to last longer than when I hit the note so I'm gonna turn the color up hmm. I'm gonna I'm gonna move on from this one I, I might go back to it but a little bit too drummy which is okay that's kind of cool. Oh, whoa, okay. Check this out. It's like a heat map of the sound waves. Like, that's kind of cool. Let me... Okay, I'm gonna turn this down because I'm about to hit all the keys and see what happens, so. Okay, that's pretty cool. Um, Let's see what Digital Rust does. That also looks cool. Man, there's so many of these, like... Let's see the general MIDI library. Oh, it's got guitar. Cool, okay. Saw wave. Another 808. It's got a piano, you know. Got a sax, nice. I always find it funny about instruments and these things is like, they sound a little off from the real, just like a slightly bit off from the real one. Like, this sounds like a really stringy piano. Um, I don't know, maybe that's just because I have a bad piano at my place that I'm used to playing. Um, Maybe, you know, there's all different types of pianos, so maybe they just, you know, sampled a different type of instrument on these, but they've got the classic applause. <laughs> I always love the sound. I just think it's a funny one. That's a cool sound. I don't. I'm gonna see. Kind of. Yeah, it kind of lasts like the delay or whatever lasts a little bit long. So I'm going to turn that. Could cut off delay. Uh, it doesn't do it. Pipes. <laughs> These are fun. I don't know. Um, bottle blow. Breath. Oops.
Okay, let's see. Chill with me. I don't know about that. Oh, uh, distortion guitar. That might sound cool. It'd be cool to crunchify this and do like some like a Eddie Hazel solo or something. Just like really crunchy. That would be kind of let me see if I could mess with this real quick. Let's see what this does. Oh. Uh, Filter on blue, see I don't have hmm. Okay, this will be a cool one to keep in the back of our heads. Same with that. <laughs> this is a weird one to have, I like it. Yeah, there's some really cool sound effects that would be fun to like throw in um but aren't necessarily like you know can't really <laughs> it's just uh, kind of weird but here's a drum kit you know i will say my weak point is kind of these drums unfortunately um i need to practice on my rhythm kind of time Ooh, that sounds cool. Nice. That sounds cool. I might keep that just because I like that sound. Oh no. guitar sound like ah okay and you have the clean one Let's see. explosion whoa here, here we might get a crunchy kind of like There's like, like what is what is even a jet plane? That, that was fun. Um, got more organs. There's just like so much stuff in here. This is insane. Um, Let's see. You can kind of get a mod. 
modulating. Thing right there. That's kind of cool. Okay. Sweet. Um, let me see. Let's see what else I have. Just to, I don't want to keep messing with these forever. Just to kind of give you guys some different types of things to look at. This one does let you adjust it like that. All right. Yeah, this sounds like it sounds like something I could find in another thing. So I'm gonna keep keep looking. Let's see. Ooh, that looks fun. That's fun. Try and start start off with this. See what we could make. Um, Sounds like a weird beginning unless you transition it into kind of something that builds up. So I kind of want to find that first like noise that we're going to use here. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna switch to a, a different. One. Uh, just doing this again. Yeah, cool, okay. Um, oh, look at that. Okay, cool. There's a bunch of presets here, and I think these coordinate with, yeah, that right there. Ooh, I like this one. I think I might start with this. Yeah, it'd be cool to have one of these uh, boards kind of in front of me and do this like. Alright, I, I like this creep show FG, so I'm gonna keep this. I am gonna check out the other ones just because I'm here and see what they sound like. Um. Cool, okay. 
right, so let, let's get to recording this right here. Um, mm -hmm, yep, I know. <laughs> Um, okay, cool. So, up here, I believe, is our recording stuff. So, if I wanted to record, I can hit that. Um, and I can do it into an Edison audio editor recorder and into the actual, just as a, like, uh, audio clip. Um, I'm going to go into the Edison just to show you what it's like. So, okay. okay. Apparently, it has my um, mic in here. And I don't, don't want it to have the mic. Okay. Okay. Cool. Can't hear me now. And oh, it recorded that. Uh, let me see. It it is inputting the mic and not the uh, MIDI. But yeah. So you could. So this is a uh, Edison editor. Um, you can kind of like you kind of you know use this to edit the actual waveform. So you can like make the make the things bigger, kind of like make them smaller here. Oh, I did not want to do that. Um, there's a lot of stuff up here. I don't know what it does. So it seems like that acquired a nose profile. So you could blur the sound. Um, you can do a lot of stuff. So I'm gonna first thing I need to do is actually figure out how to get this into here. Which is no longer playing. Okay. Interesting. Um, let me. Maybe it's. Is it just not gonna. Uh oh. Okay. Hold up one second here, y'all. I think I changed. I did something. Um, because. The keyboard. It says that there's the notes on and off, but it doesn't want to. Um, uh, it doesn't want to do anything. So, um, I think my input. Let me see. Oh, MIDI settings. Yep, it's still up there. It's still enabled, and like I said, it's still on the note on and off. It's just not wanting to play. So let me see here. Headphones are on. It's not just that either. It's it's this one doesn't want to do anything too. So I think let me re-record because that's where I screwed up. So let me see if it does anything. Try yes. Okay, so it's like inputting it in, but it's not. It has like the little waveforms there, so I don't know. Um, let me see. Oh shoot! Did I just what did I just do? Delete. Yeah. Um, like I said, this is. My, oh, there you go. Okay, cool. Let me see where the channel. It might be where the out channel output somewhere. So let's see. Okay, it's channel rack. This is yeah. This is interesting. You can see it. Kind of, it's recording all the notes. Um, it's just not outputting any sound to my headphones right now. So let me see options, audio settings. Maybe. Doesn't seem to be here. Is there okay. Detector report. Let me see. Yep, these are all editing things for that. Um yeah. <laughs> routing audio can be tricky especially when you don't know it um it's kind of it's like one of those things where it's like poking in the dark to try and figure out where exactly it is um i'm gonna google it in like two minutes just putting it out there because that's the easiest way to actually solve these issues um 
I know there should be somewhere the MIDI general file. I think, yeah, that's that's these up here. Cool. So I can switch between these. It might be in the audio input output device FL Studio sampler buffer length uh, party interesting and it's got the MIDI input so that works it's saying that the input device for audio is this party highest um, that doesn't seem to have anything it happened when I started recording which was the weird thing um, I'm gonna go into Edison real quick and pause that right that doesn't really work okay so let me see yes yeah, so it's picking up the keys which is really interesting um, so it's like yeah you're playing the song but we're not we're not gonna put the I'll put it into your headphones uh, but that's okay um, let me see here No, uh, amp waveform time channels. Let me see. I didn't do anything. All right, I think I'm gonna Google it. Let's see. Let me pull up Google here. Um, and I'll pull up the. You guys can see what I'm doing. Hang on a second here. Um, there should be a channel here, and I'm going to do a window capture of my screen. Um, one second here. Okay, cool. All right, sweet. Yeah, I hope y'all can see that. So yeah, um, let me. Oop. Ah! Let me move this down here. Okay, cool. Cool. Okay, sweet. I think y'all can see this. All right, cool. So yeah, um, the glamorous part of making music is googling. So I gotta come up, and the best part of googling is figuring out the answers to ask. So I'm gonna say like. Um, Audio output uh, to speakers, FL studios, even though I'm working, I'm wearing headphones, it's probably the same thing. Uh, audio settings, okay, let's see, there is no sound FL studio. Audio settings, okay, let's try that. Um, let's switch here. Uh oh. One second. Sorry. There we go. Okay, cool. So, audio settings. And they said, if you don't make sure you select it ASIO or direct sounds. Um. Yep. So it seems like. Okay. Maybe if I default to the headphones, this will work. Let me see. And still nothing. Okay, that's okay. Um, this is all trial and error. So that was not to that. We could go back to default. All right, let's get back to that. The browser. Let's see what they say. Okay, cool. Um, maybe you have to be more specific because it's weird that it the audio cut out when I recorded. Um, so I think it might have something to do with that. So let me see. Um, <laughs> Seems like somebody's Googled this before. Oh wait, no. 
we don't want to record audio we want to listen to audio um, yeah sometimes reddit can be helpful um, sometimes it's not uh, I could restart Fruity Loops I th that's definitely um, it's definitely a thing let's see it looks like there's an MD MIDI sound option so maybe it's a monitor question that's a good point let me close this cool okay let me let me click on this in the chat thank you this might be a big help here um ah okay cool so check this out so yeah thank you so okay so if you right click this it seems like there is this so if we go back to free loops um or fl studios whatever they call it now you can right click this and it's got these so uh, i'm gonna click them at random um oh, no, no, no. that was enabled recording filter quantize automation okay let me see let me go back to the browser and see what it says so oops there we go cool okay um prerequisites for returning external audio so if I go back into here there should be a oops oops no Okay. You know what I'm gonna do? Um, don't judge me for this, y'all, but I'm gonna restart for the loops because that's a surefire way of doing this. So no. Alright, cool. Let me reopen it. Um real quick. Let's see, Studio 20. Um cool, okay. Let's see if this works. It still does not work. Interesting. Okay. That is telling because hopefully I don't I don't know if Free Loops saves the settings from when you close out of it. Um so it's still it's still working here. You can see the velocity note on off. So the MIDI keyboard's still plugged in. My headphones are still working. The volume's up on the keyboard, so it's definitely got to be some setting that I actually clicked when I went to Edison. Here it is. Ah, here we go. Okay, this is what. Um, let me mess with this real quick. Cause this is what was. Uh, this is this is where I was when I changed it. Um, so. Mixer. Interesting. Maybe. Well, this is up all the way. These are all the way up, yeah. So. Let's see here. It's still not wanting to play. That's okay. Okay, so you have all these options too, which is interesting. But where did this go? Maybe this is. Let's try this. Nope, that didn't do anything. Hmm. 
Yeah, you can see the... Oh, wait. This is strange. Um, I like this, but it is very strange. I, I could have. It has a history, but. Oh wait, no, that's not a history. Let me see. It's still not going to do anything. Okay, cool. All right, I am going to take a quick break and go use the bathroom. Um, hopefully by the time I get back, I will have refreshed my mind and kind of figuring out a new way to tackle this. Um, I'm not going to restart the computer. That is a nuclear option, but I'm not going to do that. So I'll be back in two minutes, and we can kind of get back to troubleshooting this audio issue. So, yeah, I just... uh. It's, it's, it's just funny every time I work on projects, it, for whatever project it is, it turns out that not, it's not doing the project that's the hardest, it's actually getting the stuff working that you need to do the project, that's the hardest, and where you usually troubleshoot the most, so I'm not surprised this came up, uh, but it, it is kind of funny. So yeah, I'll, I'll be back in three minutes, um, probably less, and uh, yeah, we can get back to it, so thanks.
cool. What's up, y'all? Um, I'm back. Sorry about that. So, yeah, let's get back to kind of figuring out what in the world went wrong here. Um, so, I'm going to go back to Google and let me switch my window here so I can see. Okay, cool. So, audio output. Let me see. FL Studios. Not. Apparently, it's Studio. It's okay. Uh, sound after recording. And let's build it. Okay, cool. Uh, let's see what this says. Am I connected? Yeah, I'm connected. Cool. Um, okay, again. Yeah, again, a Reddit answer. Um, they did suggest something good. Let me check the audio settings in the computer. Um, or the sound settings, whatever. And I think, yeah, output speakers. Okay, cool. And I can hear, I can hear the sounds when I adjust my volume. So I know that's working. Oh, okay. FL Studio won't play sound after recording. Cool. Okay. Oh, you can only see parts of the thread. Okay, that's okay. Um, if I know it's just okay, well, that's not gonna be of any help, unfortunately, because I'm not locked into the thing. Okay, could watch a YouTube video. Let's see what they do. Um, let me kill the volume on here. This does it bug y'all? Skip, 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 skip. Oh, I can't skip ads. Mm. Cool. Oh, let's get there again. Sorry. Okay, let's see what they're saying. FL Studio 20. And, uh. Um. Okay, wait. If you, if you have it in pattern, you should hear sound. Your headphones not plugged in. Your volume's not up. Uh, this this could mm. be off. Right. So it seems like they have the little uh, editor, wherever it was. Um, and it seems like there was a bunch of settings in there. So I'm going to do something real quick. Kill that. Um, and the mixer is not up here. Okay, one second. I'm gonna need to look how to look up the mixer. Stop that. Um. Oop. Okay. This is. Mixer functions, FL Studios. Okay, so. Control E is how you pull up Edison. So, oh, I was in the browser, sorry. So I could click on here and do Control E. Okay, that didn't do anything. That was edit mode. So whoever told me that was wrong. Oh, okay. Never mind. I was incorrect on that. Let me, yeah, let's see what this guy continues to say. Um, Here. This could be down. This could be automation clip strange. Make sure it's not automation clip strange. Okay, so it seems like they're Otherwise just work. messing with the, oh wait, how did, wait, one second. Make sure it's not automation clip strange. 
Ah, okay. It's up here. It is up here. Cool. Cool, okay. Well, now we know how to pull this up. The mixer. This little mixer sign. Also, fun fact, we have the little keys right there too. Cool, okay. Sweet. Alright, let's let's go back to the mixer. Um something here is off. I think they're correct in in saying that the mixer was off. Um and I just screwed something up. Uh, uh close out. Close out. Cool, pull it up again. And it saved it. Okay. Um I just killed the main one over here but that's okay so I don't think yeah that's just the equalizer that's not gonna do anything um uh, let me again nothing um this is up all the way this is the record it's got a little okay that's these are just all the channels you can have what is this thing? Oh, that's a song. Okay, so that must be each recording. Um, post production stuff, maybe? Um, nope, that doesn't do anything either. Let me insert something here. Okay, let me see if I can insert a. Hmm. Does not seem like it. This is up all the way. I mean, yeah, the volume here is up. Um, ah, there's okay, cool. I got oh, yep, that's up all the way too. That's that. This is hmm, this is really interesting. Uh, yeah, I know it's <laughs> this is like the best way to get to know this is by messing around because something's not working um, So I don't know this is this YouTube video is okay. You just uh, I'm skipping through it really quickly. Let me see Let's Make sure all these are normals You can delete them like that and it'll be gone. It won't delete the plugin permanently. And uh, also your master volume could be down, or there, or again, automation clip strangely. Okay, I just found something too. I'm going to show you all this. So, I went to here and I clicked on this limiter. That came up. So, let me, I'm going to mess with this, see what it does. That's just, yeah, that's just the normal gain and saturation stuff. Um, so that's the loud list is medium it's like it's yeah but like it says that it's up you know like it's not like off whoa okay that's cool <laughs> um, To Google it is uh let's see let's clear out this browser. Let's get this. Help! I can't hear my audio. That's me. Um. So it seems like this person is having issues with their audio not replaying back, not being able to like uh, play. This is all right. I'm gonna change my Google search. Say, um, sorry, the keyboard's in an awkward position. Um, so 
Let's see, MIDI keyboard. Um, What if I kill everything, but let me, let me try this. Nope. So let me go back to this thing that was set to two. Yep. Um, yep. That's working. Okay, that's all working. Okay. Let's see. So this seems to be the input for the um It's not what I wanted. Um where are we? Editor and Recorder plugin. Use the index in the video information below if you're looking for something specific. In this video, we'll show you how to record audio and loop record with Ed. So when uh when I stopped, what happened was I went to record, um, and this mixer came up, and when I record, when I, oh, when I tried to record. Um, it was just like, it didn't let me play after that. I couldn't hear anything. So, uh, yeah, so that's kind of what happened. Um, we could see that the MIDI keyboard's inputting, it's just no sound is coming out of this thing. So, so I'm trying to troubleshoot, yeah. So I'm trying to troubleshoot right now, so I've got, oh, sorry, I did not realize that you were not able to see that, but um, I still had the browser window, but yeah, it, it was, basically I went to record um, through Edison, and it didn't, the, um, yeah, the, the sound stopped working, but the, you can see up here, the, um, Actually, well, now it's not working anymore. The MIDI keyboard is inputting. Okay, there it is. Yeah, it on off. You can kind of see right there. So the question is, why is the audio not coming from here into my headphones? Is it a send issue? Let me check. 
One second. Let's, let's check this out. Okay, cool. Let's see. Okay. Um. <laughs> hey, new moderator. Uh, I was I've been working on FL Studios. Um. Kind of to catch you up with what happened. The I was able to hear audio. Um. And then I tried to record something, and now I can't hear the audio. But you can see up here that it's still, it's still recognizing that there's a MIDI device connected. It just it isn't playing any of the sounds that are in here. So I was like this. Um, where is it over here? Oops. Here we go. Yeah, I was like this thing, um, and I'm trying to. Yeah, just trying to troubleshoot what in the world went wrong here. Um, yeah, these these projects always turn into kind of diving through the settings to figure something out rather than actually working on stuff. So, yeah, but that's okay. I mean, that's how it is always. Um, it's kind of fun. Gets at least it forces me to get to know the software a little bit better. So, which which is good in my opinion. So yeah. Um, let's see. So, it wants us to go to Channel Rock. And then it wants us to go to Channel Settings. So. Hmm. You selected maybe? Let's see what that does. Yeah, cool. It's it's okay. I don't know too much about FL Studios either. Um so this is kind of just me troubleshooting. I'm gonna what I'm gonna do right now again is restart the program. I've done it before, but I'm gonna do it again just for uh state of mind i don't like having current open so cfl studios okay let's see what this uh, does i'm tempted to turn the computer off and on again but i don't think that's actually gonna do anything at all to be honest with you so cool okay so yeah so we can get back here um Oh, well, you look at that. Okay, there's not even any channels. That's great. Let's see if we can add some. Um, I don't know where the channels are. All right, time to Google again. Um, let's see. Sorry, um, y'all can't see the screen I'm looking at. Um, okay, cool. Here we go. Yeah, I'm just I'm just googling to try and figure out how to pull up this channel rack that's not there. So, let's see. Okay, cool. Yeah, it holds instruments. It creates sounds. Each pattern. Hmm. 
Ah, okay. So... Hmm. Um, I don't, it was working before I started streaming, or, and I was, as I was starting streaming, like I said, the, it stopped working the minute I hit record, and then I went to Edison to record, and it freaked out, and was like, yeah, you can't do this, and cut the sound, so, um, so I don't think it's related to streaming just because I'd been streaming, and it was working, so now it's just not. Um, crap. stop oh, whatever okay cool um so now i'm trying to get the channels back in here because when i restarted it they were gone that didn't happen the last time i restarted it so it's okay um this is all part of the process so, at least if it happens again, I'll know how to deal with it. Thank you. Um, audio select. It's not telling us where to go. It's okay. Oops. It's not what I wanted. Cool. Okay. Well, up, there we go. Pulled up the mixer, which is nice. But now it's behind this thing. There you go. Okay. Cool. So, so we got this mixer up. Again, this thing is just weird. It's the other weird thing too is that. Well, let me. There we go. Okay. Thanks. Um. Another weird thing too is that it says it has audio files right here, um, but when I play through it, it doesn't really make any sound. So this is uh, yeah, this is kind of weird. It seems like a general headphone output thing, um, and not necessarily. Yeah, I don't know. Um, but yeah, if I try and play it, it doesn't make a sound at all. So 
let me go back to options, see if there's like a headphone option. Yeah, if I don't if I don't get sound, then I'm literally playing blind or deaf because the kids I can't hear what I'm playing, so I can see the sound bars moving up, but it's just nothing there. But that's okay. I don't want to read a book. Hmm. Let me see. Okay. Let's see what this person says. Oh, man. There would be another close thread. Hmm. You can only see part of this thread if you're not logged in. Great. Okay. I should. Hopefully this will give us our answer. And it's another studio or forum. Let's click down. Yep, yep, forum, 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 forum. Man, this uh these MIDI places really like to make to charge you for actually having the thing. It's another. Okay, here we go. It talks to it, but it doesn't play the notes. Sampler, though, is the question. Let me see if I can hear this. Um, let me unplug my headphones and see if I can hear this. Well, that doesn't work. Um, uh, headphones. Let's hook up then. Okay. Um, okay. Hearing something? Let's see. Let me let me put on a song or let me play something real quick. Um
Can you hear that? Okay, interesting. So, it might be a headphone thing. Um, yeah? I bet you it's a headphone thing then. So, let me see. Okay, cool. Well, thank you for that. Um, now I know that it is not coming out of my headphones. Yeah. Thanks for that tip. That was... Mm -hmm. This is interesting now, because it is the headphones, so... Oh, wait. Okay, well, that's not working, but I can hear something now. Oh, um, I can hear fuzz, which is good. But I'm still not hearing an actual sound. A good Trump. Try my headphones too, uh, because I'm not your friends right here. Oh, but my earphones are not ox. That is okay. Um, okay. Oh, it's about the computer. Oh, oh I, I see. see. I, I see. see. Okay, okay, thanks. Yeah, let, let me give, give these a try. Go find Bluetooth. Um, Bluetooth. Bluetooth. Cool. Let's see. Bluetooth. Um. Um. These are Jabras. Okay. Cool. So it says that it's connected. I think these might be dead. Um. Ah, cool, okay. I can hear something now. But no, it doesn't, oh, okay, here we go. Uh, there we go. Okay, cool. Um, I can hear myself now, so let's see if this works. Still can't hear it through the headphones, interesting. Let me play it through the computer and see what it does.
interesting. Um, it said they're charged. It just wasn't. Um, I got sound out of the headphones. It just wasn't uh, working on FL Studios again, which is okay. Back to square one. I'm gonna put these headphones back in so we don't we're not damage. Okay. Kind of headphones are these? Sorry, I'm looking for the specific uh, output. Okay. It should be, the output should be right here. I can hear that now. Okay. So. Y'all can hear that, but I cannot hear it, which is very interesting. Mm. Oops. Let us see. Maybe it's something up here. This is very strange. Nice. Alright, I'm gonna change this real quick, see what this does. There you go, I got it. Um, okay. Cool. Uh can y'all hear this? sweet so I don't know if you'll saw what I did but I just had to go up here in audio settings change the input output to the speakers so I should have thought of that earlier I just thought that for some reason the input from FL studios had to be from FL studios otherwise it wouldn't want to work so cool okay sick so yeah um I think I'm just gonna get one sound recorded um, and call it a day probably just because that uh, that took a while. Um, and there's not too, too much I could do. Let me go back here to, I think it was a Sakura. Yeah, here we go. I need to turn my volume down. It is very spooky, I like it. Sorry. 
I like I, I like like the atmosphere ones. Um, so I'm gonna stick to. I was using creep show. Yeah, I like that. Okay, cool. So now let's see if we can record this like actually without screwing anything up. So let me wait for this to end. Okay. Hmm. This is okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to try something. You know. And it doesn't want to work anymore. That's okay. There we go. Got it. So I'm just going to do playlist. So it wants me to go through the, this. Yeah. But when I click this as an input output, it doesn't want to output. Yeah. yeah input. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. So it only spits out sound if I have the device as this, but it wants to have an AS of ASIO device FL Studios to record. So it doesn't seem like it wants me to record and listen at the same time. Cause hmm. Oops. Interesting. Oh, there it goes. Hmm. <sighs> but it does want us to record. Yeah. Okay. <sighs> Alright. I think I might call it a day here um i was able to get the sound working through my headphones which was good but it doesn't want to doesn't want to cooperate with um actually being able to record and having me listen through my headphones so i don't want to spend all day kind of fixing this i'd rather show you all some cool sounds and stuff like that and since my time's almost up um, I think I'm going to kill it a day at that since I solved the first issue of today, which is good, I guess, since I can listen to what I made. And this is, this is one of the, it's a Sakuda, uh, I guess, I, I don't know what you call these, like synthesizers that are built in. Um, I was kind of me messing with some of them earlier. They have some cool ones. Let me maximize this. Yeah, so... You know, you have you can pull up different ones. And like each one of these has their own stuff. <laughs> this is fun. Um yeah <laughs> they're cool um like toxic but you know each one of these is different but um i was using uh where was it this and it was uh, or was it creep show i think it's the one which isn't up here where did it go um creep show there you go yeah and, like you could adjust like they're cool you could get all these weird effects from them um Thank <laughs> you. 
So yeah, that's uh, yep. There's uh, all these cool stuff you could do with this. So I'm, I'm definitely excited to kind of show you all more next week. Um, hopefully I can work out some of the kinks and we can actually get to like making cool music and stuff like that. So, so yeah. So thanks for stopping by. Um, definitely check out some of the other streams we have them all week um, here at the libraries. Also, if you're in town, definitely come to the libraries. Check it out. If you're a student. We've got a bunch of equipment you can check out and rent. Um, I have a MIDI keyboard back here that I was renting out for this. So it'll be back um, in a couple minutes. Um, there's all different types of keyboards, musical equipment, recording equipment. Um, so yeah, so definitely feel free to come by and check stuff out. And everybody that works here is super cool. And they're more than helpful, more than happy to help you out um, with any questions you have. So yeah. Um, it'll uh, get cool. Thanks for stopping by, and um, I hope to see you all next week. So, see ya.